the previous video we showed you how to use the discriminant to understand the nature of the roots of your quadratic equation and how to use the uh, negative b over 2a to find the vertex of your parabola. Here I wanted to give you a couple of more examples so that you can see um, what would happen when we had a negative discriminant and if we had a positive uh, discriminant also in the previous example you got a zero discriminant, your discriminant was zero, and so you had one real root. So now let's see what happens when we have either a negative or a positive discriminant. Here we have uh, f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 4. So let's go ahead and find our a, which is 1, our b, which is 3, c, which is 4. So in this case, our discriminant is going to be b squared minus 4 times a times c. Okay, so our discriminant here is 9 negative times a positive times a positive is a negative. 4 times 4 is 16. So our discriminant tells us that the radicand is a negative 7. Now because the radicand is a negative 7, that tells us that our parabola that we graph from this function is not going to cross the x-axis. Um, let's, let's double check that by finding out what our um, vertex is. Here our vertex is going to be negative b over 2a, so that'll be negative 3 over 2 times 1. So x at the vertex is negative 3 over 2 times 1, or negative 3 halves. We'll use that negative 3 halves to substitute it into our original equation. So the f of negative 3 halves will be negative 3 halves squared plus 3 times negative 3 halves uh, plus 4. So we've got 9 fourths plus a negative 9 over 2 plus 4. Let's, let's look at this all in terms of fourths. So 9 fourths minus 18 fourths plus 16 over 4. Or 7 fourths. So our vertex will be negative 3 halves 7 fourths. So it's going to be above the x-axis and it's going to open up because we have a positive x squared. Let's take a look at what the graph looks like. So here's the graph with the point at um, negative one and a half or negative three halves and then a positive seven fourths or 1.75 about. And notice how it opens up in both directions. It mirrors up and will never cross the x-axis. Let's try another one. Here we have f of x is 4x squared plus 8x minus 5. So our a is 4, our b is 8, and our c is a negative 5. So the discriminant here would be then b squared, which is going to be 8 squared minus 4 times a, which is 4, times c, which is a negative 5. So that would be 64 Let's see, minus times a minus is a positive, negative times a negative is a positive. 16 times 5 is 80. So in this case, I have a discriminant of 144, um, which tells me that I will have, let's see, I have a positive, which means I'm going to have two real roots, right? And that actually makes sense because having worked out the roots, having solved this with the quadratic equation, I see that I should have the roots of a uh, negative 2.5, a negative 1 half. So that should be my two roots. Okay, um, so let's see what the vertex is, right? Um, just to make sure that this actually will cross. I mean, I can see what the roots are, but let's go ahead and do uh, the negative b over 2a. That'll give us x at the vertex. So here our negative b will be negative 8 over 2 times a is 4 which is negative 8 over 8 or a negative 1. 
So x at the vertex is negative 1. That means that the f of negative 1 will be 4 times negative 1 squared plus 8 times negative 1 minus 5. Or 4 times 1 minus 8 minus 5 or 4 minus 8 minus 5, 4 minus 13, which is a negative 9. So our vertex is at negative 1 from here, comma negative 9 from here. And let's see if that's true. Here, this uh, function 4x squared minus 8x minus, f I'm sorry, plus 8x minus 5 is here. And here is our vertex at negative 1 and negative 9. And let's take a look at our roots here which are as predicted at negative two and a half and one half. Let's do one last one that's going to have a negative a. So here our a is going to be a negative one, our b is going to be a negative two, and our c is going to be a four. Uh, effectively what that does is it, it changes our parabola from opening up to opening down. So we'll have a uh, b squared is a negative 2 squared minus 4 times a negative 1 times a 4. Oh, that 4 was negative for a second there. So here's our discriminant. And we'll get negative 2 squared is 4. A negative times a negative is a positive 16. So again, we have two real roots, right? We're going to have a discriminant of 20 um, in this case. So the roots are going to be somewhere around a little less than negative 3 and a little more than 1. These are going to be irrational roots because 20 is not a perfect square. Our discriminant actually is going to be 2 radical 5 and because it's 2 radical 5 we have to approximate it. But let's take a look at our x at the vertex is going to be the negative b over 2a so that would be in our case uh, negative b would be positive 2 over twice uh, negative 1, which would be 2 over negative 2, or a negative 1. So once again, we're looking for the f of negative 1. Um, it'll be the opposite of negative 1 squared, minus 2 times a negative 1, plus 4. So the opposite of negative 1 squared is the opposite of 1. Negative times a negative is a positive 2, and then plus 4. So it'll be 1 plus 4 or 5. So our, our, uh, our vertex will be at negative 1 and 5. And let's take a look at what the graph looks like. Here's our vertex at negative 1, 5, and as predicted, a little less than negative 3 and a little more than 1. Both are irrational numbers, so they don't plot evenly. So that's using the quadratic formula uh, the discriminant of the quadratic formula to find information about our parabola.